Good morning, everybody, and welcome to my kitchen. Yeah, my kitchen. Mm -hmm. Well, as you folks know, my Shane Collis uh, with the Oakville Chamber of Commerce have been a big fan of the Good Morning Oakville Breakfast for about 10 years, as it was a member for nine of it, and still joining the team last year. And uh, it's the atmosphere I love, so it seems a little apropos, thank you, Franz, for the big word, um, that we would do this into my kitchen. Um, and actually, we've had to tweak this up a bit for you, but the one thing that we kept going for you is we have a great lineup of speakers, uh, who you'll hear from in a little bit. And before we get into that, we do want to do a little bit of housekeeping. Um, so to start, if you are watching this on Zoom or on Facebook, and you have to hop off for some reason, no worries, the full video will be posted on Facebook a little bit later. Um, and also, if you want any information on any of our presenters or any of the people that you hear about on, on this webinar or Zoom call or whatever you would call this text stuff, um, you can find that on Facebook later as well. Um, so to start, as you know, we do like to make sure that we also take the moment to thank our sponsors. Um, they are hugely supportive, as always, and especially in times during like this. So first off, thank you very much to Intelligent Office Oakville where you can get all your officing hourly and full-time and reception service needs taken care of. Um, and we'd also for sure like to thank Second Cup Coffee for all the wonderful coffee at our breakfast. Um, now, you guys know that we're a pretty thankful group and that's what helps build this community and we support each other. So we always take a moment to give a shout out, say thank you to some folks that have helped us in the crowd. So we're gonna go through a couple folks right now that have done some really cool stuff, put some great to, uh, offers together for the community to help support through this, well, we'll call it an uncertain time. It is what it is. Uh, so to start, um, we have Babel Immigration Law. Melissa Blood Babel is a wonderful person, is offering three minutes, uh, 30 minutes of free consultations to anyone in need of immigration legal advice as a result of the changes to travel and entry into Canada. We have Snapped Oakville. Uh, looking for, oh, this one's cool actually. Looking for your positive at home moments during this time of social isolation. Um, they have an app that you can go on to Google or the App Store and get it. It's called Snap Hub. And what, you want, what they want you to do is take your photos and post them on the event called We're Thriving at Home. Okay, so if you want to find more details about that, again, um, you can do Snap Doko or on Facebook. Um, we also have SOS First Stage who has launched a new online course, Coronavirus um, COVID-19 Action Plan for the Workplace. Now this is a no cost uh, um, event that they've put together for their communities to help members respond to the COVID crisis. Um, so if you wanna learn more about that, it's on April 30th and you can visit sosfirstaid.ca. Um, we also have Smart Centers is offering rent free use of a total of up to 1 million square feet at 200 shopping centers. That is a lot of free space right there. Um, and they've also been gracious enough to make sure that the government and any um, healthcare organizations have access to all their signage so that they can keep the local community around them updated on what's going on. Um, now, Oakville Public Library. So they've got some stuff to, for you guys to do at home, whether it's with your family, kids, or maybe even just stuff that you wanna do for yourself. Um, they are offering a variety of virtual programs, including live story time on Instagram and YouTube, uh, virtual book talks, book clubs, and creation challenges on Facebook. Um, you can get access to all of this stuff with your library card. Um, if you want more information, go onto the Oakville, uh, Oakville Library uh, website and you can get yourself a library card there and set this up and uh, take advantage of some of this stuff. There's actually some, uh, a bunch of other stuff they have going on here connected to the New York Times online, Hoopla, Linda.com, Canopy, to name a few. Just lots of sources for you to get some great information from. Now, as I said, we do have some speakers. We've got seven great speakers for you today who've been wonderful enough to do this for us this morning. Um, if you want to do this yourself in May, um, give us a call, send us an email, or go onto the website and you can register there and get up onto one of these uh, Zoom calls uh, yourself, and we'd be happy to have you. So right now, we are gonna start with a good friend of mine, Mr. Kim Piller from Sandler Training. Kim, take it away. Okay, it looks like you're good to go. 
Okay, thank you very much, Shane. Uh, again, I'm Kim Piller with, uh, I'm a certified uh, Sandler Sales and Leadership Training. Uh, great to be here today and to Drew and everybody, thank you for this opportunity to do this uh, kind of new venue in uh, today's society that we're in uh, experiencing today. So kind of an understatement, but while we all live in a wildly different world today, uh, what we experience today is challenging to say the least. We certainly all have different feelings about what's going on. Our emotions are off the scale, uh, different levels of anxiety, uh, disturbed sleep. I just actually heard a, a news session today on one of the news programs about uh, just how this is affecting everybody and affecting our sleeps as well. People are having kind of weird dreams about what's going on. Uh, and then also that then affects our self-talk. Our self-talk is in high gear all the time and it's hard to control that. So this has hit us all pretty hard. Uh, the core of who we are as individuals, our belief systems, uh, our foundations are all on rocky ground. And in many cases, our values are actually in question as well. So, you know, you might be asking again as a sales trainer, why am I speaking about uh, things like feelings, emotions, belief systems, and values? Well, really for two reasons. One, because it's at our core, we are our values, our belief systems. And the other key thing is this is actually what we teach at uh, Sandler tr uh, Training. Um, it's interesting when I meet somebody at a networking event, so let's take a chamber event, you know, first thing that you do when you meet somebody, you say, what do you do? So if I actually say, oh, I'm a sales trainer, immediately uh, a brick wall comes up and uh, they think I'm, uh, I'm that uh, features benefit guy and I get stereotyped as that salesperson. But uh, uh, it's interesting because at Sandler, we actually don't teach anything about features and benefits. Uh, we learn about and teach about systems, values, belief systems about our own belief systems, our values, but more importantly about our customers as well. So what can I offer today? You know, a lot of us have been thinking about how do we redo ourselves here? So I'm actually offering two programs. Uh, one is a free program and one is a paid program. Free program is on uh, Tuesdays and Fridays. It's uh, for one hour. Starts at uh, nine o'clock, obviously an hour, it goes to 10. Uh, we have uh, different topics. I talk about different key things within the uh, Sandler system, but we also have guest speakers as well, just kind of mix it up a little bit. Uh, so you're more than welcome to join that. And uh, at the end, we'll give you some information on how to join those programs. And the second is a paid program. Uh, I'm starting up a foundations program in a couple of weeks. Uh, there's some companies out there that are doing well they're they're viable so i've got some of those people in the program but i also had a company uh register this week that just said you know what uh we're very slow right now but we want to take this time now to invest in our people so they're using this downtime to actually make that particular investment so the foundations program if you're interested in that or the free free sessions again i'm kim pillar with sandler training my number is 416-899-6388 and uh, my email is kim.pillar at sandler.com. So again, thank you very much and be well and be safe. Uh, thank you very much, Kim. Uh, I myself have a mountain of sales training under my belt and Sandler training is part of that. So awesome job, Kim. Next up, we have Blair Bosford from Blaney McMurtry LLP. Blair? Thanks, Shane. Thanks uh, to the Chamber for this opportunity and thanks for everybody who's participating this morning. Hope everyone's staying well and safe. Um, as Shane said, I'm Blair Botsford. I, uh, I help people plan well so they can live well and leave and organize the state. Um, maybe a little bit of a grim message given the current situation, but yes, I am a, an estates and trust lawyer, help people do estate planning. I'm a partner at Blaney McMurtry, which is um, a regional firm serving downtown Toronto, Halton Region, pretty much all of Ontario, basically. Um, they cover, we cover a broad range of things, family law, um, commercial litigation, employment law, bankruptcy, insolvency, the things that tend to be a little more popular in difficult times, but, you know, business law, real estate, intellectual property, we even have a cannabis group, um, immigration law, and of course, there's the estates and trusts group. I wanted to provide just a little bit of up legal update related to COVID-19. Law firms were put on the list of essential services, so law firms are practicing and functioning, but primarily remotely. I haven't seen the inside of our office since, I think, March 19th. 
Uh, we've got skeleton staff there keeping things going. We've figured out routing mail and, and other things, and we're keeping up to date on court operations so that clients who have at least urgent matters, the courts are trying to get those things through. And the last round of communications shows that um, they're going to start trying to handle you know, a little bit more load as they figure out remote court operations. Related to wills and powers of attorney, that sort of thing, lawyers are still, you know, helping people with those issues, especially people who are concerned during the crisis. We're using things like Zoom or Skype to do video conference meetings. Witnessing documents is a little tricky. Um, where possible, people are making arrangements for conventional signing and where that's not an option. The court last week authorized video conference signing for wills and powers of attorney. So that's definitely a new concept and we're navigating through some of the practical implications like how you get the paperwork in all the right places when you're not all in the same location for the signing. But for people who have concerns about that, we're still managing. And then, I mean, other legal operations, people have real estate deals to close, business transactions to close, law offices, including ours, are working through that and, and helping clients keep things on track as much as possible. So people looking for some information about legal implications of COVID can go to our firm website at blaney.com and there is a COVID page and, you know, I. People can find my contact details on my profile page if they want or need to reach out to me. So thanks again, everybody. Keep well. Awesome. Thank you very much, Blair. Um, I actually have been to Blair's office. And the one thing I can say is their windows go right to the floor. And if you go to their office, don't look down. It's really high up. <laughs> uh, next up, we have my good friend, Jennifer Kazmaier from Calicare. Jennifer, take it away. Thanks so much, Shane, and thanks again to the Oakville Chamber for hosting. Uh, so my company is Calicare Home Healthcare Services, which I started in 2012. Uh, my background is as a registered nurse, and I had no business experience at all. Uh, but I did see, have a really deep desire to solve an ongoing problem that I saw uh, working in the emergency department. I was seeing people come into the hospital for things that if they had the right support at home, they wouldn't need to be there. And, you know, let's be honest, nobody wants to be in the hospital unless they really have to be. And that's particularly true right now. So really what we do at CaliCare is, is uh, working to keep people safe, comfortable and independent at home for as long as possible, while also providing peace of mind for worried families. What we offer is really a trusted professional option that's an alternative to government funded sources but still collaborative. Um, we work very closely with many government agencies, so it's certainly not an either or situation. And what we actually do is quite broad. Um, home care at its base is one-on-one -on -one support uh, wherever home is. And what that support looks like is really tailored to the unique situation of the individual. So we do everything from one hour up to 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Uh, some examples would be, you know, 24 hour around the clock care for someone with dementia who's not safe to be on their own. Um, maybe respite support for someone caring for a loved one with a chronic condition who needs a break to take care of themselves. Um, nursing care, if you have any kind of tubes or drains, our team's all over that. Um, grocery shopping for well seniors, which is super popular <laughs> right now. Um, and palliative care is really kind of our area of expertise. Um, it's an area of specialty and a personal passion for me. It's one of those things where you only have one opportunity to do it well, and it has a lasting impact on the families who bear witness to that experience. So how we do what we do is uh, really through our amazing team. We have 150 to 200 frontline staff who are personal support workers and uh, nurses, and they're supervised by registered nurse care managers who take care of all the details of the care plan, supervising the, the field staff. We use GPS tracking, so we know exactly where employees are when they check in and at and out of their shifts, which provides a lot of transparency and peace of mind. And we also have an online family portal so families can view care reports in real time and see exactly what was done each day and, and know what's going on with their loved one. So really it's our privilege to serve our community. Um, I just wanna you know, thank the Oakville Chamber for bringing us online in the middle of week five of our new virtual reality. 
I do credit the Oakville Chamber with a lot of my success in growing my business and through the amazing connections. So thanks so much. And I just want to take my last, you know, 10 seconds to thank a couple of people who have helped us source PPE, which is uh, SOS first aid. The Oakville Chamber has been helpful in helping us source that and, and Piper Foods, um, the Oakville McDonald's, which are giving free coffee to all of our healthcare staff. So thank you so much. Awesome, Jennifer. I, I can tell you this right now. If we had the whole crowd in front of us right now, I would be getting you a round of applause for sure. We all thank you very kindly for being out there on the front lines. Um, we know you, how essential you guys are, and we really appreciate it. I can see all the panelists clapping right now, and I would love to be doing this in front of you right now. Man, I miss having you people in front of me. This is so weird. Um, next up, we have... From Focal Point Business Coaching, Mr. Ted Kreitler, who better not win the prize we're giving away today. Ted, go. There's prizes? Ooh, okay. No, I'll try not to. Um, listen, like everybody else said, I really want to thank the Chamber for doing this. Um, you know, let us reconnect with some of the friends that we've missed over the last month or so, and to try and make things somewhat normal in, uh, in a pretty, actually a pretty messy time. Um, the other thing is it's also made me get up put a proper shirt on and put a jacket on for the first time in probably five weeks. So as Shane said, uh, my name is Ted Creighton. I'm with uh, actually the Plutus Consulting Group and Focal Point Business Coaching here in Oakville. And up until recently, I would have told you that uh, we're business growth consultants and coaches for small to medium sized businesses. But right now, right at this moment, we're spending a lot of the time helping businesses cope with really everything that's going on right now as far as the lockdown, quarantine, social distancing, what the impact is on their business, what some of the impact of some of the government programs on are their business, on their business, because it's, it's pretty noisy out there. As you can all well imagine, it, it gets really noisy in an environment where there's a lot of competing voices and a lot of competing priorities. So because this is an unprecedented time, we couldn't have prepared for this. I mean, honestly, you know, what we're going through, I don't think anybody could have imagined even two months ago. And so for us, it's, it's, it's hard to have had a roadmap for this and, and obviously how to go forward. So our focus has been in supporting businesses as best we can so they can assess what do they need to do in the heat of the moment so that they can get back to some sort of normal, whatever normal is at this point. Um, we realized early on that the time, it, it, the time now is to reach out, help pitch in, help people out in, an area, in areas where they're really not familiar and take the lead as much as we can. So we found that by getting our partners, our clients and friends to focus on what they can control versus what they can't control, it gets rid of some of the anxiety and worry and it also allows them to figure out what do they need to do next. So one of the things, and this is probably a blinding flash of the obvious, but one of the things we realized is we're a community and we've got to help each other out. So some of the resources I just wanted to point out, because I think it's really important to understand where some of the resources are at this point. Um, Drew puts out a great newsletter every Monday. So there's lots of stuff there. There's lots of information that provides the, where do you get what, um, who's providing what as far as different levels of government. The other thing is Kim's doing his Tuesday, when, or sorry, Tuesday, Friday session, which is outstanding. And for those that are interested, we started doing a Thursday business roundtable on Zoom for people that are interested in just getting an idea of what can they do, what are their next steps, and a sense of community. So I'll put the information into the chat just to see if anybody is interested. We do that Thursdays from 9 until 1030. And it's a great way to sort of get your issues out there, help solve some of your problems, but also bond with some of the other people around that are going through the same thing that you are. Last but not least, of doing a business seminar with a law firm in Mississauga tomorrow as well, just to talk about the employment law impact. And so we talk about business, we talk about what the impact is on employees, and I think that's really helpful. So again, bottom line on this, we're all in this together. We just want to be out there to help people. And of course, if you need anything, just reach out. And thanks again to, the, to Drew and his team. Very cool, Ted. Um, as you heard, Ted gave a shout out to Kim there, um, you know, Focal Point and Sandler Training. They're very different approaches um, and actually handle very different parts of your business. So one of the things I would suggest is that you look at both of them because they both have great solutions that they can provide to you and they will both steer you in the right direction. 
Um, next up, oh, Drew, I am so regretting this house coat gag. I am boiling right now. <clears throat> next up, we have Benoit Mercier from Bloom Tools. Benoit? Good morning. Thanks, Shane. And thanks again uh, also for the Oakville Chamber for setting this up. Um, we are all talking about uncertain times. And I think what I want to focus on is how do you inform, how do you communicate with your clients, your partners, your suppliers, right? At this time, it's very important to have consistent messaging across your online presence, of course, but also across all different kinds of channels. Uh, you need to keep your clients, your potential clients, your suppliers, your partners informed. You need to communicate clearly, consistently, everywhere on all your platforms and as often as necessary. Um, people want to know, are you open? You know, if you are, what are your hours? Um, what services do you offer? A lot of businesses have been refocusing some of their uh offering, but they're not updating the website. They're not updating social media. So people don't really know what it's about. People also want to know what kind of safety precautions you've been taking for your employees, for your clients, for your suppliers. How do you work? How do you operate in this new normal environment? So the website for us is a key central component uh, for that. And the thing about having a COVID notification, either way at the top, so it shows up on every page, or you can have a notice on the main image that you have. If you have a rotating slideshow, I'd recommend you have the first slide with your COVID update linking to a page somewhere. Uh, you can also have a pop-up. Some of us have seen that in, in companies. You get to the website, there's a pop-up saying COVID uh, notification, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you can create a blog, which is great for SEO. S uh, create a separate COVID page as well, where you can go into a bit more detail about what you're doing, what you're not doing, how you're operating, what you're working. Maybe consider doing a frequently asked question section in your website to answer some of those questions. And um, the contact us page, obviously you need to reflect your hours and, and things of that nature. A great little tool is a chat box. We've seen that on a number of websites. There are some free chat box tools there. And with a lot of employees working online, it's fairly easy to sign someone to answer all the questions. If you're looking at uh, Google My Business, they're temporarily suspending or delaying some features. They're giving priority to healthcare providers. So the reviews and the Q and A's are suspended. Uh, new listings and business info edits like hours, you know, things um, that you do are being delayed. In terms of communications, uh, we have a special offer. We think email marketing is one of the most effective ways of reaching out to clients. So we're offering the, the Bloom Tools email marketing platform with an unlimited number of campaigns that you can send, 500 contacts that we'll upload, and it's $50 a month for the 500 contacts. And that is my time. So thank you very much to everyone. And I'll turn it back over to you, Shane. I, I mean, it would be nice if people could stay that on time at the breakfast. Bravo, Benoit. Um, next up, we have Adam. Please correct me if I get your last name wrong. Adam Jaco from Watson Investments. Adam. Hi, Shane. Thanks. Uh, thanks for having me, and thank you to the Oakville Chamber for hosting this. And also, thank you for all those that took the time to attend this morning um, to our live webinar. Uh, my name is Adam and I am representing Watson Investments. Uh, Watson Investments started in Oakville in 1991, running out of a home office setup, uh, much like many are getting used to right now. Our business is about helping people reach financial success, however that may look to them. For some, that would be sending their kids to whatever university they want, Harvard, Stanford, University of Western Ontario, where I went. Uh, for some, that's purchasing a cottage. And for a lot of people, it's simply um, answering that question of, do I have enough? Uh, now, we spend lots of time diving deep into the reasons that money is important to you. We ask questions to understand your financial situation. Uh, your future aspirations, your concerns, and how all of those tie in together when trying to determine the best way to reach your financial success. Our process is very comprehensive. It's unique. It stood the test of time for about 30 years. 
Now, that's not to say we haven't made changes over the last 30 years. We've recently started implementing much more technology into our process. Utilizing technology allows us to present real-time cash flows um, to go over and update an ongoing list of financial planning priorities, um, connect with our clients, sending them tax tip tips, market updates and analysis. And the most important thing, it allows us to be accessible and connected to our clients anytime, anywhere. Um, our five step process is one, we gather and analyze the information. Uh, two, we um, develop a financial plan and communicate that with you. Uh, three, we implement that financial plan. Um, four, we develop and present financial forecasts annually to show you where you are. Um, and five, there's ongoing communication and monitoring. Now, this five-step approach covers the two main pillars that determine financial success, your financial management and your investment management. Now, we complement this five-step approach with our other services being tax planning, estate planning, and financial coaching. Um, but those main pillars are the solid foundation of our business. Now, we can't take all the credit for what we do. We've been able to build on years of financial economics, mathematics, and behavioral finance to develop an evidence-based investment approach for you. And ultimately, our goal is your financial success. Uh, we invite you to contact us through phone, email, or website, which is watsoninvestments.com. We'd be happy to chat with you and to figure out what financial success looks like to you. Um, thanks for your time this morning. And our next presenter is Carl, who is a good friend of mine and a great golfer, even though he can't get out there on the golf course right now. So enjoy your morning, everyone. Uh, okay. See, Adam, at, a, at one of our regular breakfasts, you, you, you haven't been much, so you, you won't know this. Should you take my job again, I'm going to step right over you and heckle the heck out of you. Do you know how that works? All right. Now, I'm going to do this right. Our next presenter is Mr. Carl Wolf from Keller Williams Real Estate, a personal friend of mine, and he made me a lot of money, Carl. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, we texted a little bit back and forth yesterday, and uh, I told him uh, quite the opposite of what to say. So thanks very much, Adam, for plugging me that way. But that was funny. And Shane, as always, I love your reaction to things. But uh, no, happy to be here. And uh, again, uh, just going to reiterate what everybody else is saying. Thank you very much uh, to the Chamber for setting this up. I think it's really cool. And uh, kind of in the time that we're in, it's uh, it's nice to see some familiar faces, unfamiliar faces, and, uh, and just kind of get back out there and network a little bit, which is fun. But um, I'm going to try my best. I'm going to set my timer here, too. So um, I try to do this in three minutes, and I was over my time cons consistently. So anyway, um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Carl Wolf. I'm a realtor with Keller Williams Edge Realty uh, in Oakville and Burlington. We service primarily um, the Halton and Hamilton regions, if you will. However, we do stretch into the kind of Mississauga area um, and through like St. Catharines and Grimsby area and stuff like that, but primarily Halton and Hamilton. Um, in my discussion today, I'm going to try to get through a couple, a few different items. I'm going to talk a little bit myself, how we got into real estate, talk to you a little bit about my team and how the business that we do. And a lot of people are asking kind of what's going on in the market. So happy to talk a little bit about that. So uh, a little bit about me. I got into real estate probably about seven years ago. Uh, well, actually, I've been real estate for five years, but I fell in love with real estate seven years ago. And if you haven't listened to the Chamber, here's the plug, Chamber podcast, Definitely listen to the chamber, not just mine, but listen to everyone's because they're awesome. Um, but I got into real estate, actually it was my brother-in-law and sister that uh, they were flipping their first house, uh, fell in love with the business and, uh, you know, and, and just uh, knew that, you know, at that point in time, it was my five-year goal was to get into real estate. But um, I've loved every minute since. Um, people always ask me my why. So I'm passionate about real estate. I've always really enjoyed real estate, but my why is helping people. I've always loved helping people. And there is no greater satisfaction than seeing that grin on people's face when they've gotten the keys to their house and they're over the, over the moon with, uh, with happiness. That's what fuels me every single day and what I love what I do. Um, tell you a little bit about our team. So um, I started off with Keller Williams about three years ago. And, uh, and started a team right away. We now are up to four people on our team. I have a full-time admin. I have two other agents um, and myself. Uh, we do about 
50 million in business, um, which equates to probably about 50 transactions a year, which is, which is really good. Uh, the average agent doing between one and five deals a year. So we're, we're constantly growing. We're always trying to improve and be better at a, as a professional, but, um, that's a little bit of our team. I think I'm down to the wire here. So, um, Quick market update. Everybody's asking what's going on in this world. Obviously, you know, what's going on with real estate. We've been fortunate to do probably about five transactions in this craziness, but markets actually still pretty good. Um, properties are moving. If they're priced well, they do move in this, uh, in this market. Um, I know there's a lot of uncertainty, but there is some, some movement going on. And secondly, what's everybody's plan for what's going to go on after this craziness stops? Uh, from what I'm hearing and tons of sources, and I'm sure there's a lot of people out there in, in this chat too that, uh, that see what's going on. But uh, we're anticipating once we get out of it, provided that our economy is not in trouble, uh, we're going to be pretty busy again in the marketplace. So um, I'm optimistic. I hope everybody's optimistic in a time of uncertainty. It's pretty easy not to be, um, but uh, we're all in this together and we'll get through it for sure. So chin up. Thank you very much, guys. Thanks, Carl. You rock, buddy. Um, okay, so now we have Crystal Valencia from Home Sweet Hope. Crystal. Thanks, Shane, and thanks, everyone. I'm 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 really happy to be here, and uh, and thanks to the Oakville Chamber for you know helping us build community. And so um, today, I wanted to talk to you about, guys about a little bit of a home sweet hope. Uh, we support single parent families on their journey from homelessness to self sufficiency. And usually, our goal is to um, is to help uh, parents uh, get an education, get employment, and sustain uh, sustain a, a, a job with with great benefits and and help uh, help support their their families. Um, usually, our first year has a is a stabilization period where we help house it with housing, child care, transportation, case management. Um, and then year two and three, we help, we give a full-time scholarship to Sheridan College. Um, and then year four, we help them with employment. And we partner with a bunch of different organizations, uh, to name a few, would be the region of, of, of Halton, um, the Oakville Community Foundation, Sheridan College, YMCA, um, Genworth Canada, and uh, the Peter Gilligan Foundation. And um, uh, just to tell you a little bit about, about our stats, um, we have 100% of our graduates who afford market value rent on their own, and 100% of our graduates um, transitioned off of social assistance, which is quite exciting. Um, and I guess in, in light of COVID right now, um, our, our, our new goal has become that we want to, um, we just need to help our parents in survival mode. We want to help them, you know, get through this crisis and uh, and help them get get through their education. And so right now, um, of course, it's extremely stressful for all of us. But it's extremely, it's even more so stressful um, for for single parent families who have no uh, who have no other support network except for the community and except for us. And so. Um, I'm here today to kind of tell you about one of the moms who uh, who who came to us and you know asked for asked for the very basic very basic things and and right now um, we have one of the moms who has a five year old at home who has a mattress on the floor and simply all she asked was for coloring books and crayons to help keep her cut her her child busy while she was trying to focus on other things um, and so. I guess the with my with my last uh, few thirty minutes, uh, thirty seconds, um, I would love to uh, to see everyone kind of come together as a community. And if you have any grocery uh, grocery gift cards available, or if you have uh, transportation that you can support with, or if you have any any Walmart gift cards, or or you're willing to support us through upgrading our tech, you know these are the these are the things that we would really we really need support on, and um, we would love to to get to, to get you um, to support us. And I guess as a, as a mini shout out as well, um, Giving Tuesday is coming up as well. And our push is for gift cards. So if you are interested, please don't hesitate to contact me. Um, you can find us on homesweethope.org or on Canada Helps. Thank you so much and um, stay healthy everyone. 
That was pretty awesome, Chris, though. Thank you very, very kindly. I can assure you, we all pre appreciate the support that you guys are doing out there because it's it's pretty big time right now, so that's, that's wicked. Um, so uh, we are going to move over. I'm going to hand this over to Becky for a, a little bit, and she's going to do some of our closing remarks, and then uh, I'm going to come back on and finish this off at the end. So, Becky, your turn. Hello, everyone. I just want to make sure I get this right. Okay. Um, well, big shout out and a big thank you to all of our panelists um, and speakers today who stepped up and agreed to a, our very first virtual pitch from the podium or pitch from home as we have been dubbing it. Um, you know, at the chamber, we're very committed to finding new ways to engage um, with the membership and keep you, our members, engaged with one another. Um, so I just want to go into a couple upcoming events. So, um, I think I have, oh, there we go. So you should be able to see our events right now. I hope I did that correctly. Um, we have some, lots of virtual events coming up. So what we've started is, um, this series called COVID conversation. So we had our first one last week. Um, with Minister Anand, Minister Jolie, and MP Damoff. Um, our next one is actually this afternoon. So if you're around and able to tune in, it will be live on Facebook and on Zoom. Um, that is this afternoon at 12.30. And then we have another one um, next Wednesday with uh, Minister Fideli and our local MPs, um, MP, I'm sorry, MPP uh, Stephen Crawford and MPP Trin, 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 on top of us. Sorry. <laughs> Anyways, let's just move on from that. Um, and then we also have uh, some power hours coming up. Um, one tomorrow on mental health. How are you coping? It's a crazy world for all of us out there. And I think it'd be a great one. We actually have Melanie McGregor um, from the Canadian Mental Health Association joining us. So it will be a good one if anyone's available to join. Send me an email. Um, I'll you can find all the information on our website as well. And then on April 21st, we have um, the impact of COVID-19 on business um, cash flow strategies with John Chisholm, partner and CEO with um, SB Partners. So we have a lot of great events coming up. Please, if you are able to join us, we'd love to see you out there. So Shane, I'm gonna throw it back to you. Um, all right, thanks everyone. Say Effie's name, and Drew Redden, our president, is about the only one who can say it fluently, and he does a fantastic job with it. Um, before we get into my part of the closing remarks, I do want to take a moment to thank all of our speakers. Uh, it's really awesome that you guys stepped up and agreed to do this. Um, we at the Chamber, we're committed to keeping you guys engaged throughout all this, as we are always, but that's, that's the whole point of this, is engagement. Um, so we're going to try and come up with other, more and more ways to keep you guys engaged, keep you talking to each other, so that way, when we do finally get through this whole bit of an interesting time, um, we can get right back into the swing of things. So keep, uh, we'll keep you posted on all that stuff. And guys, that's it. Um, we are looking forward to May. So again, if you do want to take a speaking spot in May, uh, go on the website, send us an email, give us a call, and we are happy to help you out with that. Um, okay, actually, this piece is a little bit of an important message. Um, and I'm actually going to be serious for a second. If um, we, we don't always have the answers for you, um, we're going to try and get them for you when we can. I think the main thing that we want you folks to understand is that we are here for you. So if you need to chat about anything, um, just give us a call. We're here for you, okay? Stay home, stay safe, and stay healthy, folks. Cheers.